Welcome back to Code Wonka channel. Today we will be doing a system design on real time add click aggregator. We will cover high level design where our focus will be mainly to cover the breadth of the design. Let's go over the question. Design real time aggregation system to support advertisement dashboard. The advertisers will post the advertisement on the platform. Users interaction data with the posted advertisement will be aggregated and shown to the advertisers on the dashboard. The question is very vague. So let's ask some clarifying questions to remove ambiguity. What advertisement metrics are we tracking? Like number of ad clicks? What kind of aggregation we want to do? Like aggregate number of ad clicks per day? How much real time we want to do? Usually real time means 200 milliseconds to 500 milliseconds, but advertisement data can have two to five minute delay as it's not critical to make super urgent business decisions. So is two to five minute latency acceptable? Based on the question, the interviewer would answer the question that will make the requirements more clear. For example, we want to track the ad clicks and impressions. Impressions is when user views the advertisement more than three seconds. We want the aggregation of the ad clicks and the impressions per seven days. So we need to track count of ad clicks per seven days and count of impressions per seven days. One minute of delay is acceptable. Now, based on the interviewer's answers to clarifying questions, we can define the functional requirements. Usually in system design interviews, I target two to three core functional requirements and have all other functional requirements as out of scope. This is because design interviews are usually 45 minutes to an hour and covering more than two to three requirements is very difficult because there is a lot of things to cover. For ad click aggregator, the functional requirement will be View real-time ad click count aggregated by seven days. View real-time ad impression count aggregated by seven days. Some of the nice to have functional requirements, which would be out of scope, will be to have some kind of payments feature so that we can charge the advertisers for the ad clicks and the ad impressions. To have a recommendation feature so that we can show relative advertisements to the users. Let's define the non-functional requirements. Latency will be one minute. Scalability, let's assume the platform is of Facebook scale, which has 1 billion users, 300 million daily active users. If I were one of the DAU, then I would click one ad daily and generate 10 ad impressions daily on the platform. Based on this, we can calculate the impressions query per second. If one user generates 10 impressions per day, then 300 million users would generate 300 million into 10 impressions per day. That would be equal to 34K impressions per second. Similarly, let's calculate ad clicks QPS. If one person generates one click per day, then 300 million daily active users would generate 300 million clicks per day. That would be equal to 3K clicks per second. Based on this, we can calculate how much data that will be generated out of these many requests. In total, we will have 37K total requests per day, where each request size would have 11 KB. That would be, that would be equal to 400 MB per second. So it's 37K total requests per second. That would be equal to 34 TB per day and 12 petabyte per year. Let's define the API endpoints. We'll have an API when user clicks the advertisement. This will take input as user ID, ad ID, and the timestamp. We will have an API when user generates the impression. This will have the input as user ID, ad ID, and timestamp. We'll have an API for advertisers to view the aggregated metrics. This will have input as ad ID and day. The output would be impression count per seven days, click count per seven days from the day in the input. We'll start by this design where we have a load balancer to distribute the request to the services. 
we will have click process service that will serve when click event happens on the platform by the user. We will have view impression process service that will serve when impression event happens on the platform by the user. We can have client side code to keep track of impression event by tracking view time of users for the ad. Then we will add message queue for each event that will make the aggregation workflow asynchronous. Message queue will decouple the event processing services from the aggregation services. So now aggregation services and event processing services can scale independently. The click processing service will send the click event to the click message queue and the click message queue will send the event to the click aggregation service. The click aggregation service will aggregate the events based on the ad ID for one minute period. Why one minute period? Because that's the max latency that our system can have. Similarly, the event flow for view impression would be the view impression processing service would process the event and send it to the impression message queue. The impression message queue will send the event to the impression aggregation service. The impression aggregation service will aggregate the impression event based on the ad ID for one minute period. Next, we will add write ahead log that will write raw request records to raw logs database. Write ahead log means to write the request logs before writing it to the database. One more resource that we add is one minute aggregated database. The aggregation services that compute one minute aggregated ad data will write the data 10 seconds before the one minute completes to one minute aggregated database. We will use the rest of the 10 seconds of the one minute latency to get this written data for the advertisers. We will maintain last three minutes of aggregation in memory calculation just in case if some of the data for the current minute comes in the future in the next minutes. For example, an event where there is a delay between the time when event happened and when it was received by aggregation service. For such kind of events, we will under report the data initially, but eventually our system will be consistent. This is okay because let's say till the current minute, the number of clicks is 10 K. So even if there is a delay for the hundred events, then showing 10 K versus 10.1 K does not matter much for the advertisers. Next, we'll introduce a dashboard service that will execute the business logic for get metrics API. This will show the seven day aggregated data to the advertisers on the dashboard. The get metric request will come to the load balancer that will distribute the request to one of the node on the dashboard service. The dashboard service will compute the seven day aggregation metrics by reading one minute aggregated data from the one minute aggregated database and send it back to the dashboard application. But now the one minute aggregated database can become a bottleneck to get the seven day aggregation data. It can be overloaded because of the aggregation services and the dashboard service constantly sending requests. To remove the bottleneck on the database, we will introduce in-memory cache component like Redis. The cache will store seven days aggregation data. The aggregation services will be updating this aggregation data each minute for the current day on Redis. This is right through cache strategy where we are proactively updating the cache. Now reading this seven day aggregation data from in-memory cache takes few milliseconds, which will help to have end to end latency within one minute and will take off the load from the one minute aggregated database. Since this is a cache, we will have a time to live of 14 days. So the cache will store seven day aggregation data for last 14 days. The cache will store the ad ID timestamp and the impression and the click count. So the data that will be stored will be of few GBs if we have one to five million of advertisement daily. When the data is 13 day older in the cache, then we will transfer it to the cold storage using archiving service. Usually in ad campaigns, most recent data is the hot data. Any data older than the 14 days is rarely accessed. 
So for most recent data up to 14 days, we will have cache serve the data and for any data older than the 14 days that the advertisers want, dashboard service will go to cold storage DB to get that data. Let's talk about the failure scenarios. If cache or cold storage DB fails, then we will have the dashboard service pull aggregation data from one minute aggregated database. Any failure points on message queue or aggregation level, we can rely on the backfill service that will take the backfill data from the raw logs database and bring our system in the consistent state. We can have the backfill service run every one hour as a batch job. Some of the depth questions that the interviewers might ask you could be how to handle data coming late by few minutes. We'll maintain last three minutes of aggregation in memory calculation in aggregation service. Just few seconds of one minute ending, we will write whatever data we collected to cache and DB. Any current minute data coming in the next minute will be return updated to cache and database at the end of the next minute. How to make the advertisement data more real time? More real time would mean to make the data available to view within 500 milliseconds. We can have aggregation services aggregate the data for 5 milliseconds period instead of 1 minute period. As next steps for you guys, it would be good to explore some of the load balancing strategies to be used in this system. Some of the database scaling strategies to be used in this system like database sharding, database replication. What kind of technologies to use for each component? For example, one minute aggregated database can be a time series DB like InfluxDB. What kind of monitoring components we can add for the system? Leave your feedback about this video content in the comment section. If video helped you in learning, then please like the video, subscribe to the channel and share the video. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned.